Now, when we look at how we create energy or utilize energy, let's look at glucose. Glucose costs, so for us to process one glucose molecule, it costs the body two NAD plus molecules there and two there. So it's costing the body four NAD plus molecules. For us to process ketones in the form of beta hydroxybutyrate, it costs the body one. So that makes energy production, ketone energy production, 400% more efficient at a cellular level. And all of these things, this, this decline in NAD plus to NADH leads to oxidative stress and aging. And this is why uh, I believe that um, athletes who consume high levels of carbs early on in their career, um, they, they, they retire at a young age in their 30s. Uh, and they begin to age incredibly quickly as well as gaining a lot of weight. And it's because of this oxidative stress and damage to their cells from the overconsumption of carbohydrate. Um, so let's look at that again. So an elite athlete can store 10,000 kil kilojoules. A ketogenic athlete can store 150. That's 15 times more energy in stored fat. It's absolutely counterintuitive as an athlete, mm. whether, you know, whether you're endurance or strength, to supply your body with an energy system that you need to keep topping up that keeps crashing when you can supply the body. I, I work with um, elite athletes and I've got a really good one to show you a little bit later on. Some of these guys compete in Ironman uh, for 10 to 14 hours, depending on their ability. Uh, and yeah, which is incredible. And some of these athletes I've been working with were fueled on nothing other than water and electrolytes for the entire event. They did not, and, and fasted, they did not eat before the event. They did not eat during the event. All they consumed was water and electrolytes for the entire event. Now, this is a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, uh, and a marathon. The carb athletes taking in these energy gels, having to stop in the toilet um, because they're suffering with gastro distress from consuming 120 grams of carbohydrate every hour, which is not good for your digestive system. When ketones supply this superior energy, which is 400% more efficient. So, this plate that we looked at in the beginning. We've got the pasta, high in phytic acid and lectins. We've got the tomatoes, high in lectins. The peas, high in phytic acid and lectins. The bell peppers, high in lectins. Uh, you know, the, 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 the spinach, high in oxalates. That, that plate is a, is a plate full of anti-nutrients. The most nutritious food or item on that plate is the chicken. And most of those nutrients within that chicken are being blocked by the other mm. anti-nutrients on that plate. That plate for health and athletic performance is absolutely counterintuitive. So it was simple and it's almost mm. too simple. You know, this, this is the magic elixir. This contains every vitamin and mineral that we need, not just to survive, but thrive. It contains every, everything that we need from vitamin A down to zinc, choline, creatine, carnitine, carnosine, taurine, everything that we need is found in red meat. 